Do you want to connect things to the internet? Are you looking to connect your Arduino card to Wi-Fi? This is possible with the ESP8266. ESP8266 is an integrated circuit with a microcontroller allowing connection in Wi-Fi. It has an antenna, a serial link that allows it to exchange data and in addition it has two digital input-output pins to communicate with the Arduino card. You should know that there are different variants which all do more or less the same thing. But to start, I recommend the ESP1 version. Now, let's connect the Arduino to a Wi-Fi network. It is recommended that you upload a blank program to the Arduino before connecting any components to it. Now, wire the following assembly. The ESP8266 module is powered by 3.3 volt, not 5 volt. In the circuit there are two resistor one of 1 kilo ohm and the other one of 2.2 kilo ohm. The two resistors are used to step down the 5 volt which comes to Arduino into about 3.43 volt which goes to RX pin of the ESP. On the other hand, the TX pin of the ESP is connected directly to the Arduino board without any voltage level converter because here the ESP sends data, at 3.3 volt, to the Arduino board using this pin. When you use Arduino as the serial programmer of the ESP, you must no longer cross RX and TX. AT commands typed in the serial monitor arrive on the RX port of the Arduino. And this data must reach the RX pin of the ESP. Now, connect the Arduino to the PC via USB cable. Then, open the serial monitor. Configure the serial link as both new line and carriage return at 115,200 baud. Finally, click on Reset on your card. To communicate with the ESP8266, we use a set of AT commands. Let's start by performing a reset with the AT plus RST command. Next, we will configure the ESP so that it can act as a server and as a TCP client. Now, See the available Wi-Fi networks in your location with the command AT plus CWLAP. We then connect to our Wi-Fi network with the command AT plus CWJAP. You must enter the name of the Wi-Fi network and the password. Once connected, you just need to type the command AT plus CIFSR to find out the IP addresses of the ESP. The first IP address is the address of the ESP as a server. The second IP address is the address of the ESP as a client. Now, I suggest you create a program on Arduino that will automatically initialize the ESP8266. Arduino know it only has one hardware TX and RX pair. 0 and 1 tend to get busy when the serial monitor is running. To communicate with both the ESP8266 and the serial monitor at the same time you will need to go through a software serial port and use the software serial library. We transfer serial communication with the ESP01 to pins 10 and 11. Here is the wiring from ESP8266 to Arduino Uno. And this is the code, which you will find its link in the description. First, initialize a software serial communication line. Then, in the setup section, initialize the serial monitor and serial communications with your ESP8266's baud rate. In it Wi-Fi module, connect to your Wi-Fi network. Then, in the loop section, we store AT commands in strings so that we can send them via software serial. We use the send data to send them. Finally, here is the init Wi-Fi module procedure. Do not forget to put the name of your Wi-Fi and the password. Upload the code in your Arduino. Then open the serial monitor to see the result.
the configuration of the ESP was successful and it is ready to be used as a server. Copy the IP address of the ESP as a server. Open your browser, then paste the IP address in the address bar. Type enter.